All right, so let's talk about a little bit more about the Hedron itself and what makes it unique, because there are certainly a lot of devices out there. That I've seen you know, hundreds of them. Um, what makes this one unique and so special? Okay, so as far as what's in it, there's, there's 12, 12, a combination of 12 minerals and crystals. Now, why minerals and crystals? They actually will hold the uh, scalar resonance better because of their unique shape. Okay, hence the name hedron. Okay, that the the geometric shape of these crystals actually resonate better to the seven point eight three. Okay, um, so that that's that's one of the unique features of the of the hedron itself. Um, also, the other the other feature of it is the ability of the radiation or the heat penetration. It disperses the heat up to 80%, which no other device I've seen be able to do that. Yeah, that really struck me because I had never seen anything that can do the heat radiation as well. And especially when you're talking on your phone, and it's near your brain, the last thing you want to do is heat up the tissues of your, of your brain. Right, right, exactly. Because that, again, disrupts the DNA and the cell membrane itself because of the lipid bilator, it disrupts that, penetrates that, and um, causes confusion in that, that cellular tissue. Sure, you, you mentioned something about the absorption rate as well. Could you touch on that a little bit? Yeah, so basically a, a Dr. Um, Kumar did uh, an absorption rate test a saturation absorption rate test on the radiation itself from the phone and found that it is 99.9% um, effective in blocking the radiation uh, from the device itself. So that, that was a big find um, right. and he was able to apply that to different organ systems of the body which I thought was very unique as well. So let's talk about another feature that really struck me and, you know, I was excited to see the foresight that, you know, your developer had with this and that it is proven to test it effective all the way up to 9 gigahertz, mm -hmm. which we're at 4 gigahertz now. We know 9 is probably coming, but, you know, can you just comment on that a little bit? Well, right, and, and it didn't ever plan out to be, you know, the 9 gigahertz. He just kind of ran into that. Um, using those, those scalar waves, the Schumann resonance uh, was very effective in being able to um, generate that type of, uh, uh, of a result uh, because the scalar waves don't lose its energy, they don't lose energy. So when it goes through um, anything, the device, the earth, the building, whatever, no energy loss. So once they discovered how to harness that geometrically, in the hedron device itself, then yeah, we found that we don't have um, we don't have that energy loss, and we can go all the way up to nine gigahertz. 